Okay, so Hourglass told me to pick my five favorite products that I wanted to try out. Ever since I got them, I've been absolutely addicted. I've used these every single day. The five products are all listed below, but I'll do you a solid. I'll do you a solid and I will read each one out. We have the Radiant Magenta Ambient Lighting Blush. The color is in Radiant Magenta. Beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that. It's Radiant Magenta. Next one, we have the Brow Sculpting Pencil in Natural Black. Look at that beauty. I usually go for dark browns, but lately I've been into darker eyebrows just because I feel like mm, I can get away with wearing even more dramatic eyes, like lots of glitter and sparkle. This foundation is everything. It's everything and more. Vanish Foundation Stick in Warm Almond. I used their matching sheet on their website. There's a sheet that shows you to match your shade. That's how I matched my shade and it matched perfectly. I have yellow, warm undertones. Every foundation that I use needs to be warm or else my skin looks chalky and it doesn't look good. This is super warm almond, it's beautiful. Concealer Stick in the shade Honey. I love it. It's gorgeous. And then the last product, but definitely not the least, Veil Mineral Primer. It's an oil-free primer with a broad spectrum of SPF 15. So if you are familiar with SPFs, they usually leave like a white cast, at least for me, on my skin. I feel like if you have a darker complexion, after you put your makeup on, it's gone. So first things first, I'm gonna use my favorite Facial moisturizer, Embryolisse. It's like the perfect consistency and keeps my skin so hydrated. For the next step, I'm using the Hourglass Veil Primer all over my skin. This I've tried and I've used so much already. I love it so much. concealer. Concealing always looks ridiculous. It's just like it never looks great without it blended, you know? Ah! I just got the brush in my eye. I'm not the most graceful. Okay, so then now I'm going to use my Bed Nye powder to set my concealer. And I like to do this because it's just to set the makeup. Well, I really don't understand the term baking. Every time I hear someone say it, I'm always like slightly boggled because I don't understand how that's considered baking. Is it because you're applying something of a flour consistency and letting it sit? I don't know. I have this beautiful blush from Hourglass. Now when I put it on my brush, again from the same company I listed before, look. It looks really cool and I don't like cool tone blushes. I love warm tone blushes so whenever I'm shopping I'm looking deliberately at shades that look somewhere in the neighborhood of this. It's like such a nice pink. Eyebrows, I usually use more like chocolate shades because I always find these shades just a little too intense. I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, maybe intense is good because it adds more sex appeal, I guess. I enjoy the liberty to go a little darker for my eyebrows. <laughs> a cat walking in the background. The eyeshadow that I'm actually using is from the Naked palette and it's in the color Toasted. And it's the original Naked palette. And I'm just gonna put that all across my eyelid. It's a very pretty color. And then in the crease, I'm going to be using Whiskey. And it's from the Naked Mochi palette. I love these palettes so much. And then I'm just gonna place that in the crease. <laughs> blending brush. Sorry, I'm looking at my cat. It's like jumping all over my furniture. It's cute. I love you know. This is really simple. It's a really simple, fast look. Mmm, yummy. I love eyeliner. Don't you love eyeliner, Tom? <laughs> okay. I love it. It's coming together so nicely. It's Definitely like a natural to a night out look. To add more spice to it, this is my magic wand. Stila is amazing, okay? This is one of my favorite lip liners. It is a Wet n Wild lip liner. 
and I just absolutely love the shade. It goes perfectly with any color. And now for my lips, I'm using ColourPop in G. It looks like it contrasts so much, but I feel like the ColourPop shades in general dry darker than what they are. So once again, I used my favorite five products from Hourglass to create this look. So once again, thank you Hourglass. This was so much fun. And honestly, for the fact that I braved not swatching any colors before, I love the tone of everything. It ended up making my skin look flawless. Thank you for that. So my hair is done and my lashes have been applied. I feel like I'm finally ready. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave your comments below. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in another video.